Hi there guys, I hope you are having a good day. Grab yourself a cup of tea and let's talk some football and kind of boxing as well because Tyson Fury has reacted to England thrashing Ukraine at Euro 2020. He said, I've not seen a beatdown over Ukraine like this since Dusseldorf at 28th of November 2015. So obviously he is alluding to his victory over Vladimir Klitschko in Dusseldorf in front of 50, 60,000 fans and obviously taking those world heavyweight titles back to the UK. Now, the game itself was a very good game. I think that England really controlled the pace and they were pressing high as well, which is very important in a game like that because they don't want to give them anything to build off of. And if you cut them off back there and pressure them, then it makes it difficult for them to put together any passes and obviously build the way up the field. England done that extremely well when they were 0-0, 1-0, 2-0, 3-0, 4-0. I mean, it was only 0-0 for 4 minutes, but still, they were playing extremely well. Ukraine did put up some resolve, but you could see that the quality was there for England, but not so much for Ukraine. But still, Ukraine were graceful in defeat, and they did not stop trying for the entirety of the contest. So, props to them, and obviously Tyson Fury is looking to just have a little dig, I guess, at Vladimir Klitschko, because... Those two definitely do not get on. I mean, often when there is a boxing match, there is this animosity in the build-up. Then it's done, and usually, or hopefully, both fighters are kind of respectful towards one another, and they've shared the ring with each other for 12 rounds or less, so they've learned a lot more about what the other guy is capable of, and usually there is a mutual respect because of that. With these two, that hasn't happened. They still do not like one another. I mean, Tyson Fury is very rarely respectful towards Vladimir Klitschko. He doesn't like him, and that is reciprocated by Klitschko. He doesn't like Fury. So there's never going to be any kind of mutual respect between those two, and I don't think Tyson Fury is necessarily having a dig at Ukraine, the football team. He's seeing it as an opportunity to just have a little niggle at Klitschko once again, because Tyson Fury is someone who always wants to tease. He's not necessarily disrespectful, but he always wants to tease one of his previous opponents and especially his future opponents. Now, as I said, the game was very entertaining and it's great to see England get to the semi-finals. I think that Ukraine have done incredibly well to get to the quarterfinals, but now England move on to Denmark. Denmark are a team that have gone from strength to strength and I think it was 92 that they won it. It was kind of similar for them. They struggled, they found it difficult, but they ended up winning the actual tournament. I'm guessing they are holding out hope of doing something quite similar in this tournament. England, though, are on a roll, haven't conceded a single goal just yet. And that either beats or equals a record. I don't know if that's true because Gary Lineker was coming out with all of these stats. I mean, that was kind of all he was doing after the game had finished. Just this stat, that stat. Rio Ferdinand, Frank Lampard and Alan Shearer were trying to break the game down and he just kept coming left, right and centre with all of these stats that had come in. And I guess he's done his research or some of it because he didn't really know if that stat was true, that England had beat the record or whether they had equaled it. But anyway, they have done extremely well to not concede a goal and they didn't look brilliant to start with, especially against Scotland. Scotland at times were outplaying England, but still, 0-0, clean sheet, one point, got them through the group, especially then going on and beating Germany 2-0, now beating Ukraine 4-0. Who knows what could happen next? They are one step away from being in a final once again. Now, of course, this time around, they are going to be holding out hope of winning the tournament, and if they are to beat Denmark, they will either face Italy or Spain in the final. Not going to be an easy game. I think that Italy would be tougher than Spain because I think that Spain are a little bit off the pace at the moment. They are not the team they once were. They're kind of in that in-between phase. England are on it. England have players that they can bring in. And the squad is still a five-star team because they can drop out Foden, bring in Sancho. They can drop out Sancho and bring in Grealish. They can bring in players like that. They can do whatever they want because they have that kind of squad. So no matter what team they put out, they will still have the same standard because the players are that good, but they have the depth throughout the squad as well. That is very important in a tournament like this because if there are perhaps suspensions, injuries, or perhaps the COVID test that they had a problem with, I think Foden had a problem with that because he was around someone who had tested positive. If something like that goes down, then 
they have another player who can come in and fill their boots and do it just as well as they did, maybe add something different to the team. We have seen England change around a little bit, and that is a good thing, tailoring their style to the opponents that are in front of them. So Sancho was starting last night, and he was giving them worlds of trouble. Very tricky, very fast, and unpredictable as well. Not the kind of player a defender wants to be facing for 90 minutes, just like Sterling as well. Even Jack Grealish, I mean, Luke Shaw was brilliant as well, getting those two assists, and he just played incredibly well defensively also. I think that Pickford was a little bit shaky at times, especially after making that mistake, but it was fine. Still got a clean sheet and going into the semi-finals. And of course, Tyson Fury could not resist poking some jibes at Vladimir Klitschko. Not necessarily at Ukraine, but Vladimir Klitschko. Anyway, guys, what are your thoughts on this? Make sure you leave your thoughts in the comments below. Also, leave a like and grab that subscribe button. Thanks, guys.